The new approach curve topography extrapolation experiment available with the SCCM 470 will be demonstrated as a method to follow sample tilt. The approach curve topography extrapolation experiment is an SCCM experiment type, which uses three approach curves to create a map of the sample's background tilt. Using the height tracking option in the SCCM measurements, the resulting map can be used to follow the sample tilt. The approach curve topography extrapolation can be used to produce tilt maps over the entire XY range and can be used with both DC and AC SCCM. This experiment type is available for all SECM 470s using software version 1.50 or newer. The approach curve topography extrapolation is demonstrated for a flat polished coupon of aluminum embedded in resin. It is measured using DC SECM in the regions away from the edge and away from where the resin has overlapped the sample. The sample is measured in 5 millimolar Ki and 10 millimolar KCl. A 10 micron platinum probe is used and biased at 0.65 volts versus silver silver chloride. We will first run three SECM approach curve experiments. A preconditioning is used to stabilize the signal. The step size is selected to be smaller than the probe diameter. The approach curve is performed in step scan mode with the probe biased at 0.65 throughout. We use triggers for a degree of experiment automation. The first approach is performed at the 0, zero position. The next approach is performed at a new XY position with similar activity to the original position and outside the scan area. The last approach curve is performed at another distinct XY position. With three approach curves run, the approach curve topography extrapolation experiment is selected and run. For approach file 1, the first approach curve is used, the second approach for approach file 2, and the final approach for approach file 3. The number of XY points match the planned area scan, and the XY range also matches the planned area scan. The signal measured in SCCM depends on sample activity and probe to sample distance. If the sample tilt extrapolated here is not followed, the effective tilt will be seen in the SCCM area scan due to the changing probe to sample distance. Next, the final position of the probe in the 0, zero approach is used to position the probe near the sample. Because the chance of probe crash is reduced by following sample tilt, the probe can be positioned closer than usual. Finally, we select and run the SECM area scan experiment. Again, preconditioning is used to stabilize the signal. Height tracking is selected with the approach curve topography extrapolation file created used. Notice we're using sweep scan. This is to achieve a faster experiment. The probe is biased at 0.65 volts throughout the scan. The experiment starts at 0, 0. The probe retracts from the surface and then reapproaches when it makes it to the starting XY position. The scan then begins straight away. The experiment plots in real time with data downloaded at the end of each line. By using the approach curve topography extrapolation experiment with the sweep scan with height tracking functionality, we ensure the shortest experiment times can be achieved. The high current areas which appear correlate to more active regions on the aluminum surface. Using the approach curve topography extrapolation experiment, the effect of sample tilt on the signal measured during the SCCM experiment is avoided. 
For further information on the approach curve topography extrapolation experiment, please see ScanLab Tech Note number 22. If you require further information on using the sweep scan with height tracking option, please see ScanLab application no number 26.